Okay, Mr. Sandman, I want to interrupt you for just a moment here. Yeah. I see that there are four uh, corners occupied by people here. What, what's the significance of that? Because each of these corners are uniquely set up so that the directions. Okay, and what's the significance of the four corners the for four, Anishinaabe? The four corners is the four grandfathers, the four sacred directions. Um, where the money dues, uh, money dues live in each of those four directions. You talked about healing before, and these uh, dancers, yeah. th there being a, a spiritual healing, or, or uh, is it a material and spiritual healing that happens? Uh, all three: uh, physical, emotional, mental, and uh, physical. So, wh what are these women doing for this city right now? Right now, th that sound. You listen to that sound right there. That travel. That travel. And you have to know the whole story behind the jingle dress. And that sound will travel and heal sickness. And that's what it does. What about this, uh, I don't know more, with the uh, solidarity with the Canadians over treaty rights and... and uh... Yes, what affects them up there will eventually affect us here. And we are solidarity. The border is a dominant culture thing. Our, our, our history shows is that we didn't have borders. We didn't confine people. They, so what affects... There is no border. There is no border. That's right. What affects us up there, uh, 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 up there with them, will affect us. If you look at the mining, and you look at the water, and the things that they're trying to do up there uh, with the frack mining, that destroys everything. And that water that is polluted up there, sits into the groundwater, it's going to end up in Lake Superior. It's going to end up in your wells. It may take time to get there, but then it's too late. Do you see an awakening here, uh, similar to perhaps the American Indian Movement or civil rights, what they call the civil rights movement around Idle No More? I believe is that it's a possibility, but I think indigenous people and people of color, no matter where they may be at in the world, are tired of it. Are, are, are tired of always getting the short end of the stick, you know, by, by the dominating culture. They make the decisions, they control the money, they control everything. And people throughout the world are tired of, of, of that type of, uh, say, colonialism, uh, uh, attitudes, you know. So, I think this is a good thing. I really do. It's a good thing because it's bringing the people to a lot of people have the same feelings, but a lot of people are afraid of voicing it. But as a group, we can get behind this. The group gives strength to the cause. Yes. Because there is no leaders. There is no leaders. There is no uh, one in charge, no organizational structure. No, no one's in charge here? No one's in charge here. No one, they can't point at any one of us and say, you did this or you did that. You know, the thing that brings the people together are what I would say would be uh, a Giji Mani, the great spirit, the move, to move and to have uh, the unity that we seek. So, that's... I got to ask one follow-up on that. This is a leaderless movement, is that right? I mean, I... It was... It was... It was... It was started in Canada by four women. And it spread worldwide. Uh, the the past. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.